Welcome back. It sure looks pretty there at Hidden Valley, wow, a winter that. wonderland in the Laurel Highlands, and we are so lucky to have this playground right in our backyard. Oh, we certainly are. Let's go back to Mikey and Selena to find out about what goes into making a go-to destination for winter adventures. First, <laughs> once again, I see you guys Adorable. have uh, switched hats up on us. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have one. New hat. Yes, I love Mikey's hat. Oh, I like it too. I Sarah, love it. I love your little balls here. <laughs> I, I do too. And we were joking right before you guys came back to us, and we said, This is a Heather Abraham hat. It sure is. This, we could see, see you in this, Heather. Oh, oh, yeah. I can see her wearing that. Oh, it's right. keeping us warm it sure and is. cute. <laughs> All right, so there's a lot that goes into keeping Hidden Valley just so a much. fun winter destination. Mm -hmm. I mean, they have 26 slopes, they have trails, they have two terrains, and it just doesn't all happen, like, on its own. Oh, no, yeah. and it doesn't happen overnight. No, this they, takes time. It does, yeah. They have state-of-the-art snowmaking and yeah. grooming, so it's, yeah. it's a complicated process. Yeah, and they are out here all night, every day, making sure that it is perfect for everything everybody who's hitting the slope. So we want to bring over the communications manager here at Head Hidden Valley and Seven Springs, Katie Buchan. Thanks so much for joining us, Katie. And we heard the machines going all night. They're still going right now. Tell us about this process. So I, I was told this morning that down in Pittsburgh, there is not one flake of snow on the ground. And up here in the mountains, we did get about five inches of natural snow, but there's a lot more than that out here on the slopes. And that's because of our state-of-the-art snowmaking system. Okay. And so snowmaking, like how, how does this work? I see this, the blowers like throwing snow out onto the hillside there. <laughs> Think of it like a recipe. There's three main ingredients, cold air, water, and, and compressed air. So cold weather, water, and compressed air. We wait till the, the temperature's cold enough, 28 degrees or below, which we're pretty pretty frosty here this morning. So we're at full operation right now, making as much snow as we can. And we blow that water and compressed air through, and when it hits the cold air, falls to the ground as snow. And these are such steep angles. Is it hard to maneuver those big machines? The machines can turn. We have full control all over, of, over everything. So they have actually a computer, and they can target each gun, turn the gun different directions to... Uh, accommodate for the wind direction, different sorts of things like that, and we just make as much snow as we can. And what's cool to me, not only the snowmaking, but the grooming process, what would you describe as the perfect slope for skiers and snowboarders? What they, I mean, I'm sure early in the morning is the best time to be out here. Early in the morning is definitely the best time. So every night we have these big, really cool machines called snow cats that come out, and they have a 12-way 12, 12 directional blade, like a big snow plow on the front, and the thing called a tiller on the back that actually chews up the snow and makes it really nice and fine, and then leaves that perfect corduroy finish you see in all the pictures. Oh, so the corduroy yeah. finish, that's a good thing. People want that, right? Everybody loves corduroy. It's really nice. So when you get out in the morning and nobody has skied on it yet, it's perfect and you get perfect runs we call it first tracks everyone wants to get out get first chair and first tracks so when will we see people out here this morning the slopes open at 10 a.m this morning so i think we're just a few minutes away oh. <laughs> well and that means it's almost time for mikey and i to get out there and I'm learn ready. how to ski <laughs> gotta lock my knees you got your good stance ready to go well thanks so much katie as always we'll see you back here later on ptl thanks katie all right we'll send it back to you all all right, well, first off, if you're looking to ski, the, the Katie right next to you, that's who you need to go to. She's awesome. She knows <laughs> yeah. what she's doing. She certainly does. Thanks for that. Uh, looks, looks like uh, great conditions also today and tomorrow awesome. for some skiing. For anyone who wants to get out there as well, uh, heading into the weekend. Yeah, although we will see 70 degree weather on <laughs> yeah. Saturday. So then that day may be a little bit questionable. Yeah. But as we saw, there is a lot of science and technology and skill that goes into making so the cool. snow, moving it around. You even mentioned seeing those, what did you call them, cats? Yeah, climb snow cats. Up the hill. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's incredible to see it at such a steep angle. Yeah, I mean, those angles past 45 degrees and those big machines are just going like right nothing. up it. Not I, like my yeah. minivan. Yeah. <laughs> Tell you what. Yeah.